Hello! In this video tutorial, you will learn how to create a new course in WebAssign using your selected textbook. To use textbook questions in your assignments, you must first create a course using that textbook. The textbook you choose affects your students' cost to use WebAssign. WebAssign pricing is based on many factors including agreements with textbook publishers and the quantity and complexity of textbook materials and resources that are available for use in your assignments. Although not covered in this video tutorial, you can also create a new course by copying a section from an existing course. To start creating your course, click Create Course. As you can see, the course editor opens for you to create your course. Type the name of your course. Many instructors use the course code like MAT-201. This is how your course is listed in WebAssign. If you want, you can add a description for your course. If you named your course with the course code, you might want to use the course title, for example, Calculus 1. Type the section name or number if needed. Every course in WebAssign has at least one section. If you only have one section, you don't have to give that section a name. If you are creating a course with more than one section, go ahead and name the first section now. You can add other sections after you finish creating your course. Select the instructor. If you need to add more than one instructor, you can do this after creating your course. See online help for information about granting other instructors access. Select how you want to enroll your students in the course in WebAssign. Self-enrollment is the easiest option. You will receive an email with a unique class key for each section of your course. You give the class key to your enrolled students and they use the class key to enroll in WebAssign. For this course, we will select self-enrollment. Uploading a roster is also an option. You can upload a spreadsheet with your students' information to enroll them in your course. You can find information about uploading a roster in the online help. Your options for enrolling students might be different depending on your school. Specify the academic term for your course. Specify a start date and end date for your course. The start date is the first date that students can access the course. Your students can access your course without payment during a two-week grace period after the start date. The end date is the last date your students can access the course to view their scores and completed assignments. It's a good idea to set the end date a few weeks after the actual end of the term. Specify the time and days that the section meets or select no scheduled class meetings. Always specify AM or PM when entering these times. Specifying when your class meets gives you additional options when scheduling your assignments. For example, you can set an assignment to be due one hour before Wednesday's class. If you copy the assignment to another section that meets at a different time, the assignment due date is recalculated based on the new meet time. Select the primary textbook you are using in your course. You can select a discipline to narrow the list of textbooks. Or, type part of the textbook author, publisher, or title in the search field. You can search more than one term by adding a comma after each term. Click the textbook you want to use. Some textbooks display icons for special features that are available in WebAssign. You can hover over the icon to see a brief description of the feature. Select the checkbox to clarify that you are using this textbook in your course. If you want, you can select additional free discipline-specific questions or personal study plans to use in your course by clicking additional resources. If your students are new to WebAssign, you may want to add the Getting Started with WebAssign questions to your course. This resource will give your students practice using the WebAssign interface. Click Create Course. After you create your course, the schedule page is displayed. From this page, you can schedule assignments to your course, add new sections to your course, or create new assignments. You can also see your new course on the My Classes page. You can look up your class key in WebAssign by clicking Class Key Settings to view the class key for your section. 
From this page, you can type a message that will be shown to students when they enroll, or you can turn off self-enrollment. You can put this key on your syllabus or write it on the board in class, and your students can enroll themselves in the correct section. Since I chose self-enrollment for my students, I received an email with a class key for the section I just created. Each section has a unique class key. For more information or to view other video tutorials, click help in the top right of the WebAssign application.